Alright guys, quickly before this video starts, I wanted to let you guys know I am going to be doing videos every single day for the month of May, so make sure you guys turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on all the awesome stuff that we're going to be doing. I'm going to be giving away $50 in bonds to two lucky winners on this video. You can literally claim this for super donator status right off the bat, or you can sell this for 70 bill cash and get started with everything you might need. So if you guys want to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like the video, and comment your in-game username, and register using the link in the description so no one can steal your reward. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So today we are actually going to be checking out the Sun Spear. I'm not 100% sure on what happened to this weapon, but everybody keeps saying that it's absolute trash now, and it's just not worth it. My assumption is that it might have gotten a nerf and people were not happy about it. But I want to get to the bottom of things and just see why everybody is giving it such criticism. Alright, so according to the Max Hit Dummy, our maximum whack with this setup and the Archaic Worm is going to be a 79. As you see, we just hit a 78. How about the special attack? I know it uses up a lot of energy. 85 maximum hit with our special attack. And it actually only took up a little bit. Am I able to double spec? Alright, I'm starting to see the problem a little bit. You can't even double spec with this weapon using a Ring of Vigor Eye. That's the one thing I don't like about it so far. Alright, no better way to test out a weapon than to jump right into the action and just see how it works against other players. Looks like we've got a guy named Kimurata. Kimurata! I like that name. So I'm actually going to fight this guy. I'm going to give him a skull too. Good luck, man. I'm risking quite a bit, so if you kill me, I'm going to be pretty upset. Oh my god. So this thing's inaccurate as fuck, but I literally just hit a 74. So when it hits, it hits like a truck, but this thing doesn't really hit. I'm gonna just try to chuck a speck on him. That actually fucking worked. What? Dude. I never do the Dragonfire Shield special attack after, you know, using a... Uh, I, I always have the habit equipped already, but I managed to actually put the armor on and then just go in for it. That had a potential, it really did. Yo, Archaic Worm Pet literally just healed me. Probably saved my life from dying. Pretty, pretty poggers if you ask me. Sun Spear pokes what? Oh, you're gonna find out. <laughs> Y'all, I'm hoping I just poke this guy for all his HP. Like, right now he's Venge, so probably not the most optimal thing to do, but... Oh my god. Yo, I'm gonna risk it with them. It's me, it's me or you! I was like, either you or I am gonna die. I guess I got lucky on that one. So, obviously, it's still too early, but what I'm noticing some flaws in the Sun Spear is that this weapon was once super expensive, highly regarded, everybody wanted their hands on this. Well, now... I'm not seeing any hits with the Sun Spear's base hit at all. Like, this weapon is very inaccurate, but when it does hit, it hits like a truck. All of this HP, I can do it. Oh, come on! Oh, I got stuck! I got trigger jammed! No! Bro, that could have literally been it. Surprise! Damn, I risked the shit out of that. Yo, if, if like, Sun Spear's gonna be this bad, it should probably be a one-handed weapon. That would be pretty sick. As I suspected, this motherfucker has a lance. Literally the most broken weapon in the game. I'm probably not gonna do so hot. Yep. That shield actually saved my life, more than likely. Yo! What a KO! This guy's risking a fuck ton. And he tellies. Staker Angel, I'm not gonna make you skull. Why is up with everybody fucking tellying? Love my videos. Well, thank you, man. I'm glad to see that. Hopefully you saw yourself in that little clip. You can be like, Mom, I'm famous! I'm on YouTube! I'm almost there, baby. Oh! <laughs> Yo! That was fucking nuts. Pomp Rumi. He has a tier 8, an orb on him, high risk. Like, respect to this dude. He's literally going up against a pretty strong weapon and doesn't seem to be phased at all. Oh! No! Zero G Mall! What? Ah! Damn it! Well, that was a great fight, to be honest with you. I can't believe we just missed out on so much loot. Oh, 72! Zero G fucking mall! Oh, 76 right off the bat! Yo! Even on spawnies, this thing is not performing as well as I thought it would. I definitely see why people are giving it a lot of criticism. Like, I'd rather go with the Ethereal Elder Maul in terms of reliability than to go with this damn Sun Spear. It, it hits hard every now and then, don't get me wrong, but 
it never fucking hits, and it's horrible. Like, I would not personally use this weapon. This is the first video ever where I'm actually using a weapon that was once highly regarded, and it actually sucks. Usually I'm going, oh my god, this weapon's so strong, like, it needs a nerf, or it needs to be fixed. No, this weapon is dog shit, and it needs a buff. 83, right as I say it needs a buff. Ha! <laughs> I'd say the special attack is fine, maybe just nerf it down and like be able to two times with the Ring of Vigor Eye. And then like, in addition to that, you're going to need to also buff the base hits with it. I think he's, I think he's out. Yeah, he's out. I just had to survive the crazy barrage. Yo, is Chef Boy gonna rush me? That'd be pretty funny. Well, if you're not gonna rush me, I'm gonna rush you. Oh, 85! <laughs> Yo, Chef Boy fuck me up. Chef Boy RD in this motherfucker. Bitch, I'm a spec even if he's venged. Oh, I'm risking it with you, baby. Ah, oh, I wanted someone to die there. It would have been fun. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my God. I'm having too much fun with this weapon. Alright, so the last thing we really need to test out is going to be range into the Sun Spear. The Sun Spear does not seem to be a good primary weapon on its own, so I want to test out the Sun Spear while using range. Oh, 3570! This is literally a 105 HP stack. Dude, that's actually nuts. Alright, so range in the Sun Spear could be pretty cool, and it's probably a little bit more realistic due to the inaccuracy of the Sun Spear, as range to 2H typically doesn't have a lot of accuracy. Like, it's just not really a good, you know. I, I didn't see it really good as a primary weapon, but it seems to be shredding. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yo! Alright, this is sick. Oh, don't try to run away now. Once you hit the Sun Spear Master, it's a wrap. <gasps> it 80 spec to his forehead, dude. Poor guy was risking quite a bit, too. Little did you know I'm risking it, baby? Oh, good kill, good kill. There it goes. Oh, 74. Dude, range in the Sun Spear is pretty fucking nuts, but I would never use this thing as a fucking primary weapon. I'd rather use a fucking bronze scimitar before I use this damn thing. And I wish I was being like sarcastic about that, but I'm kind of serious. You know, I reckon I could probably go rushing with this. Like, how much spec does a third age bow spec take? If it takes like less than like a certain amount, yes, yes. Oh, I like it. I could have DFS them if I wanted to. That is awesome. Third age bow spec into Sun Spear Rush. What makes range to Sun Spear so much more accurate than fucking... It has to be just the primary base hit. Like... So I'm seeing dramatic improvements once you go range in the Sun Spear. Like, I'm just dropping everybody back to back. 73rd inch bow spec. <gasps> that was a 7080! Are you kidding me? Dude. This might, this might be a new favorite setup. So in the event that you guys are interested on getting your hands on a Sun Spear, you can obviously buy it from other players, but if you head over to the minigame teleport in your spell book, the Karazi Jungle is a minigame that's almost like similar to Dead Man mode, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So from what I know, you get like a 30 minute timer in which you can stay in the Karazi Jungle, and you can basically do things within this jungle, like kill monsters, kill players, and progress throughout the game that's going to increase your time that you're allowed to stay in here so basically you have to work very hard to stay in here longer and then basically once you go through all this stuff and like I said it's just like dead man mode so like you have to get your all the gear all the supplies ready and everybody's pretty much in very newbie gear and once you get everything finished you can actually fight against certain NPCs and you can get yourself a Sun Spear. But yeah guys, that's all I really have for you on this video. It was definitely a little weird starting out with the Sun Spear as a primary weapon, but I feel like it got a whole lot better once we started using range. I really wonder why the accuracy felt better using range rather than spamming it as, you know, primary. But the world may never know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one tomorrow. Peace!